Snapchat was a social media platform created for fun, entertainment, and communications with friends, and it is extremely popular with anyone who has an online presence. But after just four years, Snapchat had creators growing faster than they expected. Many of these Snapchat content creators needed to find a way to reach their audience, so Snapchat created insights. Hey guys, what's up? It's Reese Tafso of the Snapchat Encyclopedia. In today's video, we're going to discuss the origins of Snapchat insights and how you may be able to get them yourself. This was the leading video idea in a poll I had a few months ago. If you'd like to vote, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to be notified when a new video is posted. To start this story, we need to go back to Snapchat in 2014. Snapchat at this time had 100 million users, and with the users, there was also creators. Most of their creators were already identified by Snapchat with a subscribe button, but they all needed a way to influence and help deliver content better to their audience. So in 2015, Snapchat released insights to these creators. Now what exactly did these insights do? Well, insights in 2015 were able to show you how many people view your story, for how long, and how much of your story they went through. After 48 hours, you would soon have audience insights too. Now insights mostly stayed the same on Snapchat for about 5 years all the way up until 2020 when public profiles were starting to come out. Now Snapchat was only giving public profiles to verified accounts, and these verified accounts wanted a way to reach their audience too. So Snapchat created insights for these public profiles, but they weren't anything like the old insights. With the whole new redesign, Snapchat insights have more detail and insight for the creators on their viewers for them to use to their advantage. As 2020 went on, Snapchat created creator profiles, verified accounts, and public profiles with insights only available to those who had a creator account or a verified account. Now you may be wondering, how do you get insights for yourself if you don't have a creator profile? Although Snapchat may only allow new and improved insights for creator accounts, small content creators and even people with public profiles can get them. Although requirements have never been specified, after much research, you will find out that most people who have insights have had their account for 7 days. Most of them won't get insights in 7 days, but they pull in over 50,000 views in those first 7 days. As for not getting it in 7 days, if you're averaging 1,000 views or more a day, and most of those viewers you don't have added back, over a period of a few months, if your viewers are consistent or go up, Snapchat should give insights to your account or even upgrade your account to a creator profile. Alright guys, that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.